My name is Rebecca McKinnon. I'm a senior fellow at the New America Foundation, which is a think tank in Washington, D.C. I work on internet policy and human rights issues. Uh, I recently published a book called Consent of the Networks, the Worldwide Struggle for Internet Freedom. Uh, and I'm also co-founder of Global Voices Online, which is an international bloggers network. I think we are at a very critical time where um, the internet, whether or not it's going to remain compatible with human rights and free expression, whether it's going to remain compatible with democratic discourse, is, is an open question. The internet is not a static thing. It, it can change depending on the decisions being made by regulators, by lawmakers, by engineers, by software programmers. Uh, and there's a lot of debates going on about just who should be involved with shaping the internet's future, whether it should be governments, whether it should be civil society and companies, you know, what combination. And uh, uh, today I think there was a lot of discussion of the commitment that uh, uh, that governments, uh, some governments, are, are making and, and a recognition that uh, some governments are coming to that human rights needs to extend to the Internet. Well, I think the threats are similar to what the threats have always been to, to civil liberty and human rights, which is abuse of power. Um, and I think in the offline world, we at least have a template. We never achieve the ideal, but we have a template for how government should be held accountable for what that should look like, um, how you constrain power in the physical political system within a physical nation. But how do you ensure that power is constrained and held accountable on a globally networked internet? Um, where you have companies that are shaping what people can and cannot do, and you have governments that are you know, legislating or regulating and then having an impact on internet users around the world who did not vote for them. Uh, and so it's much more complicated. I think uh, having governments commit to the idea that human rights extends to the internet and committing to recognize that, you know, you don't just kind of fix problems that arise on the internet. You know, you're not going to have 100% security on the internet as, as you're not going to have 100% security in, phys in the physical world without certain trade-offs, you know, and there's human rights compatible security and there's human rights incompatible security. You know, there's different kinds of security, there's different kinds of governance. And a commitment, I think, through the OSCE um, to to human rights, civil liberties compatible governance of the internet and regulation of the internet um, through, throughout the OSCE is a very important thing.